All right, so bushings pressed in. We are ready for reassembly. So we're gonna get this lower control arm back in here. And the reason I couldn't take this off because it needs to bolt back to the lower control arm or else this thing just keeps spinning while I try to take it off. So we'll do this last, which is not a big deal. But uh, yeah, let's get this uh, bolted back in there. As you can see, that broken stud, I took that out. I still got to get a, uh, a, new, uh, a new bolt, another one, so, uh, so I can put the strut back in. So, I guess we'll just do the lower control arm and the upper control arm for now. And then I'll see what time it is. If it's still enough time in the day, i go to the hardware store and pick up another bolt. But let's get to it. We got a new ball joint here, and I'm gonna put a little bit of this uh, grease here, just around the edge there and inside there. Yeah, Let me, uh, just as better for you guys. Yeah. All right. So I'm put some grease around the edge of the ball joint here and inside here, so slides up easier not too much that's a little much And obviously, I took the boot off. I'll put the boot on uh, after you get it all the way installed. All right, that looks pretty good there. Put that there. Install that there. And there we go. We'll clean up this excess grease here and there we are. Okay, so I tried taking that nut off to the strut bushing. That thing is on there. And the bushing looked great, so I'm not gonna mess with it. So we're gonna keep moving forward and finish putting the rest of this back together. So, let's loosen these so we can drop the control arm and install the strut and the spring. So, let's take these off. So we don't get nothing dirty here. Let's put this boot on. There we are. And we'll move this jack. Uh, get my new control arm dirty. Oh, uh, well, my newly painted. All right, so we're gonna try and set this spring on here. 
Jack it up, but leave enough room so we can put the strut in there. Or the shock in there, sorry. this up here the wash a bushing washer Alright, that was a battle to get those two bottom bolts in. But they're in. We can uh tighten this down and then lift this up so we can install this back on here and it will hold the control arm up in its final position so I find my socket. one in there. Not happy I had to bang on my newly freshly painted control arm. But it did was it did. Alright, let me uh let me start tightening these things down. Come on. Uh, 
Let's get this upper control arm on here. All right, let's bring this out. Okay. Uh, let's see where we're at. upper bar joint and if you, remember, if you watch the first part of this on my truck I have a threaded style upper bar joint you can tell by the uh, hexagon uh, top there so we had to use that big old Chrysler socket thing to uh, install this take this and take the boot off and I'll put it back on once this thing gets fully uh, seated oh yeah it's better than nice one That's installed. Um, let's put this boot back on here. Get the knuckle and everything. All right, we're gonna install this here. Uh, I don't even know what you wanna call it. The lower knuckle. I don't know. Whatever it is, we're putting it back on. I think it went, if I can remember correctly, this here, I wonder how far down this has to get pressed. Down there a little bit. Alright, 
I'm gonna put the spindle back on here. Try to at least. Uh, come on. Alright, I got them lined up pretty closely. Let's see if I can get. There we go. Other side. Alright, let me put this camera back on the tripod. Alright, so now I'm gonna install the uh shoot I guess the caliber bracket. That's what you wanna call it. It just goes here. I will start with the shield. thing looks really good yeah, it's not rusty looking anymore <laughs> it's actually painted all right these look quick snug A new rotor. Woo. Very nice, very nice indeed. Learning time. This is the old what, rotor disc brake, what you want to call it. Need to pull the seal out so you can get the inner wheel bearing out. So, we're going to clean this up, grease it back up, and install it into the new disc brake because. 
It does not come with one. So let's grease this thing up. Try and get it in all the bearing, all the little rollers we got here. That back in there. And we'll take our seal here. Get a little bit of this nasty old grease out. Oop, almost dropped it. There. Now it should be ready to go in the car. Let's get to it. Here. Oh, where's our nut? There goes our nut. There we are. Let's <laughs> break clean all this. Alright, so here it is. All cleaned up, all back together, all greased up. Just gotta throw the caliper on there, put the new brake pads on there. And then, uh, besides putting the center link in there, which I'm waiting on the, the outer end links, or the outer tie rods, this thing be all good to go. And then, uh, <clears throat> we'll put dust cap back on here and move on. We'll be done with this. Boom. All right, let's install the, uh, put the brake pads on here, put the calipers on here, and we'll be done with this. Let me go get the brake pads. All right, so I got, I went with the Ray Vestos uh, pads. That's the same thing as these calipers. Came with new hardware here. Pads. Get a brake pad installed here. Uh, 
cut this caliper down so we can get that put back on. All right, so I picked the truck back up from alignment and everything went good. Now, <clears throat> what I didn't show is I had to get new brake calipers. I tried pressing the uh, the old one, the pistons back in the caliper and they looked like it was sitting flush, but they would not clear. Although they would clear the brake pad just where you really had to bang on it, but then the rotor wouldn't spin. So I bought new calipers and put those on. Um, Everything good went at alignment. Uh, it aligned fine. You can kind of see the new uh, calipers there. Everything worked out good. So, uh, this thing, nice and, yeah, that thing is sitting nice and good now. So, uh that's it for this um next we're gonna work on that thing there get that in here and start tearing down the whole suspension on that uh you guys can like comment subscribe uh follow me on instagram at autorays underscore yt i catch y'all later